good afternoon, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I am coming on here today with the message of, should we as believers be celebrating Halloween? What is considered celebrating Halloween? That is dressing up, passing out candy, going trick-or-treating, participating in any form of party that is Halloween um, themed. It is anything that is traditionally Halloween related. And my answer to this is no, we as believers should not be celebrating Halloween. My childhood growing up, we did do trick or treating and we'd pass out candy. But this is the year that the Lord is lifting the veil and revealing things to us. And I have learned some stuff this year that has really put in my spirit not to celebrate Halloween. And it is through Brenda Weltner's time, timeline that we should be considering. Um, and not only that, but fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who have had prophetic dreams and visions from the Lord that is warning his children of what is to come on Halloween, whether that be we are raptured, um, glorified, or if not that, the pits of hell have been opened. Um, and there's another video I'm going to link also in the description, which is of an ex-witch who is telling it, the sto a story of what really goes on on Halloween. It is a demonic holiday. It is as if it is Satan's birthday. And if you partake in it, you are celebrating his day. Um, I have come to understand that witches, pagans, Satanists, these demonic beings... They pray on this day and they are trying to open up and release these demonic beings. Um, they, not everyone, but these witches pray over their candy that they pass out then to your children. Um, if it is not the pits of hell that's being opened that day, which I am, I believe it could very well be that day, uh, then it could be a portal for demons to then enter into your homes, into your life, whatever it may be. Um, we as believers and followers of Jesus, we need to guard our hearts and our minds and really run from these things. Um, it is ultimately a decision you need to make and take it up with the Lord and ask him to direct you into what he would like for you to do. Um, our God is a jealous God and no one goes before him. But when we celebrate Halloween, we are celebrating the enemy. And so because I have this channel, um, I do have a responsibility to come on here when I have been brought to an understanding and something that is such of this, I need to be sounding the alarm and also warning you guys. Ultimately, you make the decision um, and take it up with the Lord, and He will put it in your spirit whether or not to celebrate or not. Um, you know, I know that it was kind of hard for my husband and I at first because we grew up doing it, and you know, we kind of felt a little sad that, you know, oh, well, our children aren't going to be able to go and get candy and blah, blah, blah. But really, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because the way I like to think of things is where do I want to be? We are in the last days before Jesus comes and glorifies us, before he comes and rescues us. Where do we want to be when he comes for us? What do we want to be caught doing? I most certainly do not want to be caught celebrating Satan's day. And so instead, my 
uh, husband, children, and I are going to go to my Nana and Papa's, and we are going to um, roast hot dogs and s'mores and escape the the holiday and just um, enjoy each other's presence and kind of just allow the Lord to dwell within us on that day and not partake in it whatsoever. Um, so again, the videos that you can watch that you can do your own research is going to be in the description. I um, really recommend that you do the research yourself and take it up with the Lord. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will be on whenever I feel led to come on. So have a good one, you guys.